This is your AESH Electric Energy News Minute for Tuesday, May 17, 2022. In mainstream news, CNBC reports Volkswagen is looking to bring back the Scout brand as an electric vehicle. Volkswagen is planning to resurrect the iconic Scout brand as an electric vehicle in the United States. In a report late Tuesday, the Wall Street Journal said the German automotive giant was aiming to launch a new Scout-branded electric sport utility vehicle as well as an electric pickup truck, also under the Scout name. The Scout's history dates back to the 1960s, when International Harvester, today known as Navistar International Corporation, started development. Bloomberg headline, Zero Carbon Flat Glass Made for the First Time by St. Gobain. In a world first, France's C. The St. Gobain said it produced carbon-neutral flat glass by using recycled materials and green energy. The production is the latest sign that manufacturers of building materials are joining other industries in investing in slashing emissions. The zero-carbon flat glass, made for one week at a plant in a niche, northern France, is part of St. Gobain's strategy to reach carbon neutrality by 2050, the company said on Monday. The Financial Times reports Northbolt and Norsk Hydro to expand battery recycling JV in Europe. Wall Street Journal headline Shell takes $3.9 billion charge related to Russia exit. Shell PLC said it took a $3.9 billion post tax charge related to its decision to exit Russia, only slightly denting an otherwise strong quarter, bolstered by soaring commodity prices. The charge was expected and came alongside robust oil and gas trading profit during a period of extreme volatility. Shell's first quarter profit on a net current cost of supplies basis of figures similar to the net income that U.S. oil companies report was $5 billion, compared with $4.3 billion a year earlier, when performance rebounded from low pandemic energy demands. Forbes headline? 2022. The Great Boomer Great Bust for Electric Vehicles. The recent strong performance of EV sales is believed to be due to consumers' concerns over high oil prices and tax incentives. Rising inflation after pandemic recovery alongside the Russian invasion of Ukraine has resulted in global oil prices skyrocketing, with the average cost per gallon in the U.S. at $4.25, compared to $2.92 a year ago. While high costs of the pump have led American consumers to consider buying electric cars, tax credits, including the federal tax credit of $7,500, have also encouraged consumers to make the switch. BBC reports, BP profits saw as calls for windfall tax grow. BP's profits for the first three months of this year have more than doubled after oil and gas prices soared. The energy giant reported an underlying profit of $6.2 billion, 4.9 billion pounds, compared to $2.6 billion in the same period last year, ahead of expectations. BP said the increase was due in part to exceptional oil and gas trading. Rising profits have prompted calls for a one-off windfall tax on energy companies to help UK households grappling with rising bills. This type of charge targets firms that are lucky enough to benefit from something they were not responsible for, in other words, a windfall. EnergyLiveNews.com reports, Kosovo aiming for 1.4 gigawatt of renewables by 2031. Kosovo is targeting the installation of 1.4 GW of renewable energy capacity by 2031. Artane Rizbanali, energy minister, has revealed the target in the delayed energy strategy, which is being developed for the period spanning the next nine years. There have been delays in its publication since January, and it is estimated that the full strategy will be revealed in June. Although an action plan for the next three years is still reportedly being developed, renewables are set to play a big part in the future of Kosovo according to Rizbanali. Powergrid.com reports, Schneider Electric scoops up auto grid. Distributed Energy Resource Management System, DERMS, provider Autogrid said on May 11 that it has been acquired by Schneider Electric, a global company focused on energy management and automation. The company said the acquisition will provide Autogrid with additional resources and global reach to accelerate growth and innovation. Autogrid's AI-powered virtual power plant, VPP, and distributed energy resources management, DERMS, platform help decarbonize the energy sector by managing and deploying additional untapped energy capacity from DER such as batteries, electric vehicles and flexible load. This has been your AESH Electric Energy News Minute for Tuesday, May 17, 2022. If you want more global electric energy news and real-time alerts, hit the subscribe button now and follow us on social media.